Kia ora te whanau. Welcome back to science class, but science class in lockdown. Things have obviously got a little bit weird. Look at me, I'm in a t-shirt, I'm actually also in shorts. Though you wouldn't know, but yeah, very very strange times indeed. Hmm. But hopefully you guys are staying safe and spending some time with whanau and looking after yourselves. Well today we're going to be doing a little bit of an experiment and this is my busy guys experiment. I've spent about 30 minutes, oh, probably 15 minutes writing this up. You guys will be doing the same. Okay, so this is my busy geyser experiment. What is what is it about? Well, the aim is to try to shoot a geyser as high as possible with busy drink and Mentos. Now, if, if you guys are unable to get Mentos, you don't have to use Mentos. There are many, many other things. In fact, the internet says perhaps baking soda might work. But you could even try Lifesavers or any other candy as well. Now what I'm going to be using is an old envelope that I've rolled into a tube. And this tube is going to be a way to quickly deposit multiple Mentos inside of the top of the bottle as quickly as possible. That's what I'm going to do. All right, so that's the experiment. The experiment to see how high it can possibly go. So I'm going to be recording, videoing the geyser experiment, and I'm going to be doing it two times. Once with three Mentos, and once with one Mentos. Changing the number of Mentos is my independent variable. The dependent variable is how high the geyser is going to be. I've got many different things I'm controlling. Basically, I'm going to keep every other factor, every other variable the same. You can look at my plan, which I'm going to send you, to see what the other variables are. I hypothesize that three Mentos is going to shoot higher than one Mentos. Three Mentos, right, bigger, more is bigger, right, more is better. I assume that three Mentos is going to give me a higher fountain than one. Some things to consider, I have to put out rocks or a marker so that I place the bottle in exactly the same place both times. I need to be very careful when I set up my camera so that it's actually get able to see the top, the full height of the geyser. So I've set it far enough back that I can see everything hopefully in the picture. And I've also put a stone to mark where the camera is going to be placed. The camera is going to be placed on a chair about 5 meters away, no, 10 meters away from where I'm going to be shooting the fountain. All right, now these bottles are going to come in really handy because we're going to be using them in our next experiment. So I'm going to hold on to this and I'm going to be using that in the next experiment. But come with me, I'm going to show you the experiment. Cheers.